Yeah. Oh, thank you for speaking to us, Kevin. There's been some real progress with regards to the planning permission required to enable the club to retain its Roman Premier status. What are the latest developments? Right, okay, well, as far as the council are concerned, there, there's two issues that we have to resolve with them. Uh, the first, and the one that you've just drawn attention to, is the issue of uh, getting permission uh, to put a new stand up, which we, we need to do in order to meet the grading requirements to stay in the Roman Premier League. Uh, and getting the planning permission, has, uh, sorry, getting permission for the stand is two aspects. One is permission from the council as landlords, and I'm happy to say they've now confirmed that as landlords they're happy for us to go ahead. The second is planning permission, and that's a democratic process. The application has been submitted. Uh, there will be consultations with the local residents, but we've kept them informed, and as far as we know, nobody is going to raise any objections. But the process will probably take four to six weeks before we get a, a decision from the council. Uh, but I'm extremely optimistic that that will be a positive decision. All right, so you're, you're fully confident the club will be in this league next season if their league position merits it? Well, on both counts we will be in this league <laughs> next season. We are going to sort out the ground position, oh, I've no doubt about that. Um, and I have every confidence that Ian is doing all the right things with the team. Uh, it's been difficult, been a learning curve for us, um, but by and large we're doing okay and I think yeah, another dozen points will see us safe. I'm right, just going to move on to the plan side now. As a chairman and a fan, are you satisfied with how the season has gone today? I can't be not satisfied. We set out our objectives at the beginning of this season uh, was to consolidate the club as a Ryman Premier Division club. And I think we're going a long way towards doing that. We didn't expect to be uh, tearing it up this season. There's a lots of new things there. Some of our players have played at this level before, but not all of them. Uh, those that are coming up to, to it for the first time and the young ones who are developing their football anyway, they've taken a bit of time to adapt. But um, I'm happy with that. I'm very disappointed about what happened in the FA Cup and the FA Trophy, but uh, we're doing very well in the Sussex Senior Cup, so you know that's a bit of a consolation. Right, if you had to pick your moment of the season so far, what would it be? <laughs> I didn't have any warning of that question. That's <laughs> it could be a very, goal or a result. Very, it wouldn't. Yes, I mean, goals. We've seen some great goals this season. I'm trying Joe Keane's goal here um, when he won the goal of the month. That was that was terrific, and we've had other things. But I think that it's it's really um, things like going to Tunbridge and beating them and playing decent football and not coming away scraping a win, but actually dominating the game. And so beating Dulwich Hamlet was pretty good result too. Um, now, now looking to today's game, the weather is clear now, yeah. but last night it was like a monsoon out there. It was. Um, is the club indebted to the volunteers who worked hard on the pitch all week to ensure <laughs> it's being played? This club is extremely lucky to have the band of volunteers that it's got who do put in tremendous work. Uh, I popped in yesterday morning uh, to see two of our guys uh, spiking the pitch. Uh, uh, two others here doing uh, essential works to the ground and to the um, uh, to the turnstiles, things that we need to do. So it's, yeah, I mean, I can't thank them enough. Um, they're really an integral part of, of the way this club runs. I'm really proud of the way the club sits today. We've been to some Ryman Premier clubs this season, and frankly, we knocked some of them into a cocked hat. All right, now finally, I'm, just going to, I'm not going to ask you to predict the scoreline for today's game, but with the Hillians building reputation in the Ryman League for some big results against the division high flyers, are you confident you can secure a positive result today? Listen, I'm not going to be a hostage to fortune. We played East Thurrock only 10 days ago and they beat us 1-0 with a goal that we know was offside thanks to you guys filming it. Um, however, they were a good side uh, with, with two very good strikers and our work will be cut out today, but um, yeah, I, I have to be quietly optimistic. I can't possibly come to a game and think we're not going to do something. Um, I think we'll be okay.